Yeah, my name's Merlin Cadogan, and uh, I've just been down at Clavelli um, doing a sea trial for my King Canute stunt, which is taking place on the 7th to the 10th of July, where I'm chained into a throne on the beach for three days, and uh, I'm underwater for two hours each high tide. Relaxing today for, um, for, the, for July, so we're just doing a sea trial of the throne, just to see how it functions with the tide coming in. And uh, just to make sure the breathing equipment's working properly and um, uh, everything, everything's going well. Not about it, but it seems to be going quite well. The water's fairly cold, but uh, my wetsuit, I've got a tiki wetsuit that's keeping me nice and warm. So yeah, it's all going very well. Just uh, just thinking of all the money we're going to raise for the children's off the southwest, really. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. <laughs> um, I'm more worried about this, the sharks. I've heard some stories of there being quite large mako sharks off the coast here. And uh, also conger eels and stuff like that. So, uh, but I hope it'll be okay. A large crab wandering past my foot earlier. <laughs> but uh, at the moment, nothing has attacked me, so I think it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> practice went really well actually thank you uh i was a bit nervous because uh obviously you know being chained to a throne underwater is a recipe for disaster but colin eastman's been looking after me today he's a commercial diver and he supplied the uh, scuba kit and uh, made sure i was safe at all times feeling confident now that uh we'll definitely be able to do it for the three days um you know really it comes down to people coming down to support me and uh cheering me on and wishing me well you know that's what i need now really when it comes down to it because it's just a mental battle you know it's a it's a it's a battle of attrition you just got to sit it out for three days, 72 hours there, and uh, I'm hoping that I can make it. Well, basically, uh, I'm going to need to wear two wetsuits because Tiki have given me a really nice wetsuit. Um, it's for surfing in, and because I'm sitting still, I mean, I was only underwater for half an hour today, and um, I, I could feel the cold coming through, so I'm going to have to wear two wetsuits. Um, and uh, I mean, luckily, I've been doing a lot of preparation, a lot of training with the meditation. Um, I can actually hold my breath for four minutes, 20 seconds now underwater. And so that all fits in really well with this because it's very, uh, you have to be very calm under the water and uh, just sort of let, let time just flow past you. But um, yeah, no, it's an enjoyable experience. Actually, I really enjoyed it. I'm feeling confident now that in July I will be able to manage it for three whole days on the, on the beach there on the throne. I try and do things a little bit differently to other people and I try and uh, think of new things to do. And uh, I was just trying to think of something which would sort of, which hasn't been done before, uh, and which would capture people's imaginations. And uh, obviously, you know, we make a lot of money in Devon from tourism, and people coming down to see such beautiful places like Clavelli. So um, I just thought, you know, give something, something, something for people to come and see on the beach. And um, I mean, people, you know, uh, uh, like escapology. And um, so I thought I'd try and link in a bit of escapology. And then I found out that King Canoe actually gave Clavelli to his queen uh, a, a long time ago now, back in, um, the, in 1016, I think it was. And so, um, and I'm actually working at the Milky Way Adventure Park, and the guy who owns the Adventure Park is actually related to King Canute. So it all ties in really well, so that's why I've, uh, that's why I've chosen Clavelli, and that's why I'm doing this stunt. I've had so many people wishing me well and giving me support and telling me they're going to come down and see me here at Clovelly in North Devon. Just so many people. And uh, I stopped in um, Tesco's the other day and the guy in the garage said, oh, I'll come down to see you when you were chained up to the throne. And everywhere I go, people know about it. And um, that's great, you know. I think Devon, especially as a county, people just tend to get right behind each other and support each other any way they can, which is, uh, which is great, you know. And I'm, I'm born in Barnstable and um, I've got a great local following and I just want to say thanks to everybody who sort of... Uh, offer me support and um, words of kindness and everything you know it's uh, it makes it when you're sat there under the water you know <laughs> that's what you think about so thank you very much yeah um, well Britain's Got Talent um, was really good for me and I really enjoyed the show and it was great and uh, yeah I mean um, I was working up in Sunderland just yesterday and I've never been to Sunderland before and I drove up there and when I stepped out of my van a load of people came running over oh, you're the guy from Britain's Got Talent so it's really good you know I'm really enjoying it and um, signing a lot of autographs I'm getting quite quick at signing autographs now <laughs> my signature's getting pretty good but um, uh, it's been really good you know and um, a lot of people have come over and started chatting with me and asked and advice and questions and saying to me things that they'd like to do you know so um, I sort of feel that I'm helping to bring out the best in other people really which is what I really like doing so yeah I'm really it's really good I'm really happy yeah if anybody wants to donate any money to the uh, to the causes for the children's hospice southwest if you just visit www.justgiving.com forward slash Merlin's got talent then you can donate some money and, uh, and help and help the um, terminally ill there at the children's hospice I'd just like to thank um, my wife and my children uh, and my family and um, my sponsors. Uh, they've got the Milky Way, Tiki and Define Gym in Barnstable for uh, letting me train there. 
and um, Colin Eastman and Clavelli for getting right behind me and making this all happen, you know. So uh, thank you very much indeed, and thank you, North Devon Journal.